Hi, this is Victor from Parallels, and today I'll show you how easy and simple it is to deploy a remote application server on Azure. So let's go to Azure Marketplace, and we will search for Parallels. And we will select Parallels Remote Application Server. Once the offering is displayed, you can see that we have different videos and pricing models for you. So here I have documentation, videos, how to scaling and sizing and as well, how much it's going to cost you from a Azure perspective, because we use the bring your own licensing model. So here we use a DS2 V2 VM. But let's get started and provision the virtual machine into your Azure subscription. So let's click to continue. We will create the new appliance or virtual machine. And first of all, you can set any name you want. You can put my VM. In my case, I like to use all in one. And I'll create a user for me. And I will use my demo a testing subscription, which I already have in Azure. If you're using the trial, you can pick your trial. And I'll use a new resource group called Demo2. And I will pick this VM to be deployed in the East Coast of the United States. Click OK. We will validate the settings. We'll confirm we're using the DS2 V2 VM. Pricing should be coming very, very soon. As you can see, it's going to be an estimate of $84. This only includes Azure and does not include Parallels license. But for the trial, there's no cost. Settings and configurations, we can use as a default options and just click OK. Now, we will review the costs if you're deploying for your own environments. Again, for trial, there's no uh, price associated to it. And then we'll click on Create. So let's wait a few minutes until this is provisioned. And then I'll show you how to connect and access to your virtual machine. With the VM up and running, let's connect to the virtual machine. So click on connect, we'll download the file and connect to the virtual machine for the first time. We accept the certificate and we'll be logging in with either your user or the user RAS and the password will be displayed in the screen. Once we're connected, let's open Parallels Remote Application Server Console by here. We use the farm name, it's the machine name that you created. In my case, it's already all in one. The user RAS and the password that we see here in the screen. As we can see, we have 30 days left to try and use RAS for your testing. We already have a few applications published in the desktop as well. And to make sure everything is up and running, you can just click on Farm and see the status of your site. All seems to be working good. If you want to publish new applications or desktops, you can use our wizards, which we can cover in a different video. Click Apply to save your settings. And let's go back to the desktop and open now the HTML5 interface. With the public IP that you just got, RAS HTML5 Gateway. We might see a warning that the certificate is not valid. You can accept it. And here we can either use the ID that you provision with Azure or again, the user RAS. Click on Login. We'll validate against the workgroup or Active Directory. And voila, here we can see the applications in the desktop that we just created. So just a quick test. If I want to use a secure browser, I can right click on my Google Chrome, either use a Parallels client or HTML5 client. And at this moment, we're establishing a connection to the server, creating a new session. 
and we can see the file upload, download, and copy and paste features are now enabled. And here's the browser within my workspace. For you to log off or to make changes later, you can connect directly to the console or publish Remote Application Server Console for testing. Thank you for watching this video, and if there are additional questions, please contact us at parallels.com.